now a lot of probably 95 percent of the kids that reach out to me want to play in the nba right <laughs> it just i mean i did too you did it's just it's part of part of having a dream um and i love having coaches on here and, and they talk about nba players they've coached and what they possess because everyone's looking for that blueprint like you know give me the 10 things i got to do to get in the nba and you know it's easier said than done and you're around all these pros so you mentioned to me that these guys have to um you know have to ask the question what they're going to give up in their life to put more work towards their craft um explain that more and explain uh, the professionalism that maybe some of these athletes had that got them to this level that you could kind of see behind the scenes that you might want to share with people listening. I just think, you know, the whole notion of sacrifice is is something that, that, that the great ones really have. And, and, you know, maybe a different way of talking about it is they're so locked in, um, you know, on, on working on their game, working on their body, working on their craft, um, you know, and, and, and you have to preface it with, there is a sort of physicality, a talent um, that 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 they bring to the table, you know, and it's 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 one percent of the one percent to start the conversation. So, you know, not I I just don't think anybody can be a professional athlete. I do think there are some God given tools and gifts that that sort of put you in the conversation. But once you're in the conversation, then what's the difference between someone who's on you know the twelfth man versus maybe is the best player in an NBA team. And I do think um, the, tr the great, great ones, uh, all, most pros, but the great ones just have almost a different level of getting to in terms of uh, focus um, and also wanting to get better. You know, uh, you know well-documented with these guys about adding different elements to their game. A lot of that started with Jordan. Um, you know, how, how versatile, I mean, if you look at Kevin Durant, I mean, the longevity and how good he is, same thing with LeBron in the versatility of these guys. I mean, LeBron James is six foot nine, 250 pounds with, I don't know, a 32 inch waist. I don't know. You know, it's it, like a teenage waist. Like he's just a perfect V. I mean, he's a, it's just incredible. He's got a first step that any probably NFL GM would be, be proud of right now. And he can just do so many things. Um, and he just kept wanting to, to, to add, add a jumper, add this. He could always like handle the ball and pass it and just a great field guy. But like he's now added all these tools to his game. So I think that's what the great ones do. They just try to, you know, they, they believe in themselves to the utmost and then they go get it. Gotcha. But the yeah. sacrificing, tell me about the sacrificing. I, I love that. Yeah. I, I mean, again, I think you, 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 the sacrifice kind of goes with it. Like they're, they're in the business of being a professional athlete. So the, uh, I think a lot of times what, what kids perceive and social media sort of can paint a little bit of a blurred vision on this, um, that there's maybe all these other parts of it. And I'm not saying they don't enjoy themselves and, but their focus is being a professional athlete period and the, the great and it's again it's the nutrition the body um their game their mind um meditation all of it like it is the, it is a business and they and they treat it as such um and they're super serious about it and and so they're eliminating i mean kobe was the ultimate eliminating distractions and you know kobe's focused on his family and being the best basketball player it could be. And that was it. I mean, mm -hmm. tight circle, and that's how we rolled. Yeah, and that's for young kids, too. Like, there was a great shirt in the old days. It might have been a Nike one that said, basketball is my girlfriend. <laughs> it was. It was okay, great. and that's true. Like, uh, yeah. if you have a girlfriend, that is time away from studying, getting sleep, watching games, working on your craft. Um, if you're on your phone for two hours a night or one hour, what you know, it, it's just – you know, everyone has 24 hours in a day. What are you doing with your 24 hours, right? And now we know more and more the benefits of sleep, um, the damage that the blue light from the phone does to your, your sleep quality, et cetera, et cetera. And these guys, they've got kind of a sickness that they have to be getting better every day. They, they know that someone out there is trying to take their spot or, um, you know, get picked ahead of them in the lottery. And it's with this sickness or with this inner drive, um, they're willing to sacrifice these other things that are fun and short term for the long term goals. So I just I just like saying that over and over to kids listening and families because hey, I want to play in the NBA. Okay, well, then, like you mentioned, you got to have some physical attributes, luck, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But how are you spending your 24 hours in a day? So 